We have an appointment to see an apartment, dummy. She's not the dummy. You're the dummy. I don't have my hand up a puppet's ass. Whoa, language. There could be kids around. Which kids? I hate L.A. Bran, show these two idiots apartment 336. Takes one to know two, Beowulf. I saw your lips moving. I can see your lips moving. And two. No, you can't. I'm sorry, hi. Um, I know I'm staring, I just have to ask. Are you really him? Don't joke on that crow, son. <laughs> I'm just such a huge fan, Mr. Zombie. I, I know 31 wasn't for everybody, but it was definitely for me. Oh, thank you. You bring so much more to the picnic than potato salad. Just to be clear, uh, you recognize me, right? Not him. N no, sorry. I, I am not familiar with your friend and his Urkel puppet, but he seems very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Urkel? Urkel, name one time that Urkel ever wore a hat. Name it. One time. OK, I, I can see that I have offended you. I apologize. I am still learning basic social protocols. I was raised on an ashram. My mother was a tree. He wore jeans, suspenders. Sometimes he had ice cream. It's very simple. Excuse us for one moment. I need you to reel it in. I know Urkel show. I know you do. But she is sympathetic to our needs. Keep your eyes on the prize. She might be able to give us something we can use. I'm calm. Good. Now start calling me Rob or Whitey Z. And for her sake, why don't you make the puppet say, did I do that? I will not undermine the integrity of the puppet. I will not. Fine. That was my bad. Bren! <laughs> I can't tell you exactly why we needed to see this place. I'm under a strict non-disclosure agreement with my record label, Meg Foster. What I can tell you is that we have to be extremely thorough. You understand? Totally, that's cool. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, that's not usually, that's not really uh, allowed. I'm sorry. That's okay, I love it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not Rob Zombie. How did you know that was gonna be up there? Because, Bryn, I'm a psychic. And, as you saw with your very own eyes, I'm also a master of disguises. We're tracking the couple that lived here two years ago, and the likely owners of whatever is in this box, anything that you can remember about them, might save lives. Oh. Okay, um, well, I remember they were really cute together. Whoa, whoa, no need to editorialize. She had shortish hair, I think. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Him. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was beautiful, inside and out. Although I did kind of get the feeling that he didn't really... You care about her? No, that he didn't really live here. Like, he he would disappear for days at a time and then just move right back in. S-H-A-D-Y. Gus! What? I need you to stop it and get this thing open. Anyway, so one night, there was this loud skirmish, right? And then they just bolted under the cover of darkness, like the old Cleveland Browns. The old Cleveland Browns? That's not gonna work. You're gonna use... Trust it. Trust it. You have it. <laughs> Very impressive. Happy to lend a hand. Okay, no, I'm sorry. He, he's just speaking normally with like regular lip function. Whoa. So much for your help. We'll be taking this box and its contents, but ah uh, ah, uh, I am getting a message from your mother. Wait, really? She wants you to water her roots on Arbor Day. Tell her that I will. 